everybody. How are y'all doing today? My name is Miss Leslie. I'm the Youth Services Librarian for the St. Charles Parish Library and today I'm bringing you some simple science. So over here is called the walking water experiment and this should be able to be done with some things that you have around the house. So I had around my house I had five jars. You don't have to use jars, although clear cups work better than uh, non-clear cups. I filled three of them with water. This one, this one, and this one. And I've also got some food coloring, red, yellow, and blue, some paper towels, and, some, and something to stir with. Okay, so we're going to start by putting some red food coloring in this first one. Yellow food coloring in the middle one. And some blue food coloring in the last one. Okay, let's give it a little stir. Okay. So now we have are three jars with water and with their color in them. And the two jars in between don't have anything in them yet. And that's where the paper towel comes in. So I have these little half sheets of paper towel and I fold them in thirds this way and this way. And I fold them in half. So you end up with something that looks like that. And so this is called the walking water experiment. So we're going to get the water to walk from one jar into the next. And so we're going to do that by using these paper towels. So we're going to put the paper towels in each jar like this. I have more paper towels. And then the water is going to get sucked up and it's going to mix in between. So if there's any itty bitty little ones watching, then we're going to end up with red and yellow water in this jar. So what color do you think it's going to make? All right, hang on to your answer and see at the end of the video. And in this jar, we're going to be mixing yellow and blue water. What color do you think is going to mix in here? Okay, hang on to your answer. All right, we're going to put the paper towels in. they're all down in there and now we're going to take a closer look. Depending on how absorbent your paper towel is, it may take a while for the water to climb out of the jar. Less absorbent paper towel will work faster where more absorbent will take longer. I let mine go overnight so we could see a big difference. The water can move upward against gravity because of the attractive forces between the water and the fibers in the paper towel. The water moves up the paper towels through a process called capillary action. The paper towel is made from fibers and the water can travel through the gaps in the fibers. The gaps in the paper towel act like capillary tubes and they pull the water upward. This is what helps water climb from plant's roots to the leaves at the top of a plant or tree. Let's take a look at our colors. Did you guess that the second jar would be orange and that the fourth jar would be green? If so, good job! If not, don't worry, you can try again next time. If you like this experiment, check out our database science flicks for more like this along with great ebooks to go with them. Also, summer reading is just around the corner. Starting June 1st, we'll be bringing you prizes, performers, more virtual content, and programs to go. Keep an eye on our calendar for events and our new Facebook page, St. Charles Library Connected, for all our new video premieres.